So I'm here with Daniel Bonner, and if he sounds familiar, that's because his brother is Cade Warriors prospect Matthew Bonner, who we talked to not long ago. Uh, Dan, thanks for joining me, man. How are you today? I'm um, good, thanks, mate. Appreciate having me on. Man, you are you're at the gym right now, yeah? I can I can see the road yeah, yeah. behind you. Yeah, just finished training, then yeah. Are you are you in the UK right now? Yeah, in the UK. This is my gym. So me, Matthew, and another fellow, one of our friends, we both own our own gym. So obviously, just training now. We can't do any privates or whatever. Say. Yeah, so just say, y'all in lockdown. I didn't know you can go. But if it's your own, you got it. Yeah, it's easy for us, mate. Yeah, we got it lucky. So for for people who don't know you, you know you've you've been Thai boxing for a while. Um, how did you first get involved in the fighting? You know, it's, it's a weird thing to get involved with. Yeah, well. <laughs> I think me and Matthew we both started kickboxing about 10. I think, you know, we had a bit of, it wasn't, we didn't grow up in a massively rough area, but it was rough enough. So, a bit of mum stuck us in kickboxing so we could kind of, I suppose, defend ourselves. And then, yeah, we stayed in that for a bit. We did about four or five years in kickboxing and then kind of drifted away from it a little bit as we moved away. But then we got kind of both interested in MMA as well. So we both started doing MMA. And then I think, it was just that it wasn't going we both had fights it wasn't really going my way I was kind of like winning one losing one winning one losing one that kind of thing so I kind of decided to take a break and go over to Muay Thai and yeah Matthew stuck with that I've carried over Muay Thai and that's I think that's the way it's going to stay now I'm, I'm happy I'm happy where I am now I'm happy doing what I'm doing what didn't you like about MMA was it the wrestling because it can be a pain it wasn't that I didn't like it I just wasn't very good at it do you know what I mean it's, I could do it all separately like I could yeah. do the rest of the victory and the striking but put it all together and no I was just I was getting caught in silly submissions like a minute in and it just I think the confidence was shot a little bit so I just decided I'll give him a, a Muay Thai go instead I, I think it was the right yeah. decision I was about to say it, it seems like it because you're, you're what you're ranked like 10th it, by the WBC yeah. I'm 12th now, so I'm 12th in the WBC at light heavyweight, and I'm 14th as a super middleweight in the WMO as well. Yeah. So how did you know um, Thai boxing was what you wanted to do? Was it did it, was it just the, the the lack of success at MMA, or did it take a couple yeah. of Thai boxing matches? Yeah, I thought. Yeah, I thought I'd just have a break because I think sometimes mine and Matthew's biggest critics are ourselves, and we, we we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to win all the time. So I think I'd come off a loss, but confidence was a little bit. I thought. I'm not that bothered about Muay Thai. I'll chuck myself in for a fight. If it, if I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. But I won and I carried on winning. I think I went on, I think it was kind of like a 13-fight win streak at one point. So I just, yeah. you like what you're good at, don't you? Do you know what I mean? So I'm better at Muay Thai than at MMA, basically. What's your record now? I think 17 wins, three losses. That's not bad at all. That's not okay, bad. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I, I, last year or I think it was the year I can't remember now every day seems the same before lockdown basically the first lockdown I was fighting you know five six times every year and, and that's the frustrating part now is that there's just there's nothing it's gone from six seven times a year to to absolutely nothing yeah that's what Matt told me he, when we were talking yeah. ahead of his last fight he's like my brother I was like, I've, I've been able to fight because of cage warriors but my brother uh, he's a tie box yeah. I'm like you got a tie boxing brother he's like yeah I'm like let me talk to him let me talk to him because I like this kind of stuff <laughs> Um, yeah. So before we carry on to the, the lockdown and stuff, when y'all are training in stand up, who gets the best of who? You or Matt? Oh, the, the scoring's different in Muay Thai. It's different. So I, where I'm going for body kicks and sweeps and knees, he's he's trying to punch my head in. And he's trying to kick the leg. So it's, it depends. <laughs> it depends how he's scoring it. I'm gonna say me. He's not here, so I'm gonna say me. <laughs> I'm gonna send him this clip. <laughs> 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 so let's let's get into that lockdown a little bit, man. Yeah. You said five, six times a year you've been used to fighting yeah. and stuff, and now you can't get anything. Is it is it due to like travel restrictions? Is it what? Yeah, yeah. It's just I think there's no crowd. I think Matthew's lucky. Cage Roy is on UFC Fight Pass. I think they can still kind of make a decent amount of, of money from that. The money you make from Muay Thai is off, and tickets sold is is filling out the venue. Do you know what I mean? So you're not selling any tickets, and then. You, you, you're not getting any money. Do you know I mean, there's no promoter who's going to willing to put on a show for free, basically, or at small loss. You want that basically, you need the big crowds at the Muay Thai fights to, to make to make the show work, to make good money, I suppose. So, um, how how's you and your family? Are y'all still making it? Doing? Yeah, you know, we're doing, fine. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. You know, I, I say I'm training. I've got a, a kid on the way shortly. I've got Mrs. having a first yeah. baby in about six, seven weeks. So we're looking forward to that. But yeah, money wise, we're, we're fine. Congratulations. Really uh, me and my wife are expecting a uh, a kid in June. So I'm, I'm getting ready to be oh, a nice. papa again. Uh, yeah. yeah. 
I'm going to get this one to be a wrestler so he can take you down. <laughs> yeah, he can train him after you for a bit then. <laughs> <laughs> so have you ever had thoughts of, you know, leaving the UK? I know your family's there, but you, you got to fight. Yeah, it's a tough one, especially at this time. I got offered a fight in the Czech Republic. It would have been for next week now. Can't happen. But, which we agreed. We agreed to it, and the show's still going ahead in the mm-hmm. Czech Republic. But I think with me having to isolate for 10 days on the way back as well, and then obviously my coach, he's still got a business to run as well. He'd have to isolate for 10 days. and it just It's a shame because it's a big opportunity, but it was just the wrong fight at the wrong time. I'd love to fight on that show again in the future, but it what just it comes out. It was, I think it's, what's it called now? I can't remember what it's called, to be fair. But it's Bernard Catlin, so I can't remember what it's called. It's, yeah. it's, I think it's called Oxygen, I think it's called. So it's in a cage with MMA gloves on, but it's Thai, it's Muay Thai. I oh, think it's called Oxygen. I've yeah. seen it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, they got that, they got Muay Thai Extreme in, in yeah, Thailand and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And I can't remember the, the guy's name. He's, I think he's Belgium or something, but he was, he was a good opponent. He was, you know, Infusion World Champion. He's got some good names on his record. It's definitely a fight that I'd want in the future, but... Yeah, it's a shame, but it is what it is. There's no point crying about a missed opportunity. So is your MMA experience one of the reasons you jumped at that opportunity with the uh, MMA gloves? Yeah, I mean, I've done it. It makes the difference to me. Punching the face, punching the face. It's just different ounce glove, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's, it, at yeah. this moment in time, you can't really be that picky. If it's, I'd take any fight. It's a shame it can't go ahead, but yeah, I'd take a fight with no... If it was bare knuckle tie box, I'd take that. I'm not really that fussed. Do you know what I mean? Fight to fight. Wait, wait, wait. You, you, would, you would do Lithway? Yeah, 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 for sure, yeah. <laughs> That's one of the most <laughs> brutal sports, man. I love it. It's so much fun. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. And there's a guy, he's Austin, a guy called Eddie Farrell. I want to fight in the future. He's he does a lot that way. Yeah, so yeah, I definitely fight that way. I don't know if my my it, again all the fights go through my coach. I can't pick and choose my fights. But if he if he said I could fight that way, yeah, fight that way, yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be real cool. Yeah. Uh Eddie Farrell's good too. He he's fun to watch. Um, yeah, he's, those Australians are they're chewing it. I mean, they do, they're all doing really well. Do you know what I mean? The, there's Eddie Farrell, there's Charlie Bob, there's Stephen Lottery, and there's George Mann. That's those Australians. They're stuck on an island trying to kill them. Yeah, ex- yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we sent them from the UK to be prisoners in Australia, didn't we? So they're all tough guys. So the thing I think is most interesting about Thai boxing is it's not as popular as uh, you know, yeah. boxing or mixed martial arts, which – um, gives you the opportunity to travel a little bit more yeah. because yeah. you got to go far and wide searching for fights, right? Yeah. Especially yeah, at your level. Yeah, um, you can. But I've not done it as of yet as in traveling for fighting, but those opportunities will definitely come. I've fought in like Ireland and I did a camp in Thailand, a fight in Thailand. But yeah, the good thing about Thai boxing is when you get to the, the very high level, yeah, you do travel the world, yeah. So you said you fought in Thailand. Where, where did you fight yeah. in Thailand? Was it one of the big stadiums? Yeah. No, it wasn't a big show. It was just the Asia Teak show. They have fights there every week, but it was a good experience. I think, I think I'd got there on the Wednesday. I think we got town on the Wednesday. I went with my teammate Josh Hill. We got there on the Wednesday. I think I asked for a fight on the Thursday, and I, I was fighting that Sunday. I think it was. So it was a quick turnaround. But that's what I wanted. I, I want to go there. And I don't want to go out in Bangkok and mess around. I want to go there, train, and, and fight as many times as I can. Hopefully, do it again next year. So is Lumpany and uh, Rajman Dern your one of your goals, one of your bucket lists? I mean, yeah, I'd definitely do it. I may be at my weight class. The ties are small, aren't they? They're really yeah. small people, the short, and you know, the 115, 120 pounds, whatever. But yeah, if, oh yeah, I think anyone, any tie box in the world will jump on that, will jump on that opportunity, yeah. So are you, are you signed to a specific promotion or are you just kind of, you and your coach kind of do your thing? Yeah, we just, I just wait to see what it gets. I'm not signed to Yorkow or Muay Thai Grand Prix or any shows. Like, we just, what, what comes through, he decides and he's the boss and, I fight who tells me to basically. Do you know what I mean, I'd love to kind of pick and choose who I wanted to fight and get all the big fights, but what comes comes and he's the boss. I listen to what he gets for me and what he tells me to do. What about America? Lion fight still a thing down yeah. here, and I'm cool with the guys there. And if you come to America, I'd have to go and watch you fight. Oh, That'd yeah. Be something? yeah, I'd be well up for that. Hundred percent. Yeah, they're actually doing a collaboration with a show in Scotland called Rebellion as well. So. I think they're on. I think I'm right in thinking they're on UFC Fight Pass as well. So yeah, I'd be all over that. That'd be I fun. think they're signing some UK guys at the minute. So I think they're signing George Jarvis and uh, I think uh, Amy Perrin is on it as well. I think so. So look, they're signing some some UK talent at the minute as well. Yeah, they did um, last. I think right before the pandemic, they did one with a uh, promotion in Ireland. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah. They did. Yeah, with Sean. I think it was Sean Clancy who, who mm-hmm. made that. I think I think yeah, Sean I think Clancy. That's 
Yeah. I do I do stuff for uh, Tapology and uh, uh I was I was working with them to get that on on site. Oh well, so, yeah, it'd be all over there. Yeah. In mixed martial arts, there's this new fascination with the low calf kick. Mm. I'm assuming yeah, you're very familiar yeah. with the low calf yeah. kick. It's been up in Thai for, for years and years. The only, again, from, from a scoring point of view in Thai, that wouldn't mm-hmm. score unless it kind of showed effects. So if I'm kicking you in the calf and you're taking it really strongly and it's not showing any effect, that won't score. But... Again, there's fighters out there, Liam Harrison being an example. He's made a career out of kicking people's legs. Do you know what I mean? He's he's the best who's ever come out of the UK. So, yeah, that's been around for a long time. It's easy to block, it. again, but, yeah, you could definitely put that to you, especially in the first two rounds of Muay Thai fight. You, you, you could be kicking the calf to really effectively, yeah. That's, that, that's what I wanted to ask. So, I mean, most famously, Conor McGregor got calf kicked to oblivion by Dustin Poirier. It was beautiful. Um, yeah. If if you were in Connor's camp, he's like, mate, how do I how do, how do I uh, stop this? Are you telling him kick a pole? Or are you telling him to lift his leg up, idiot? He's got a, he's, again, he's it's that stance as well. That stance just wouldn't work in Thai boxing. He's very like wide stance, didn't he? Which means all Heavy the weight on his lead leg. yeah, all the weight is on his lead leg, which means he can't block so effectively. Then he'd have to he'd have to put more weight on his back leg. Basically, in Thai, you'd be putting all your weight on your back leg. And then you could be able to easily lift that lead leg to block. Then it'd be a lot easier to to either get out of the way or just to block that lead. Obviously, it's not as easy as that. I just did he's, he's elite fighting. He's elite level. And but yeah, what we in, in tide we put more weight on the back leg, maybe bounce the lead the, the lead leg a little bit more, and and be blocking that more effectively. Yeah. So if Conor McGregor fought Sanchai right now and didn't change anything, it'd be ugly, huh? Well, yeah, yeah, Sanchai. <laughs> The legend, and he's it's insane. Yeah. It's like he's but, so yeah. much, so good, yeah. he's yeah, so, so far good. ahead of everybody. It's crazy. Yeah. You see something, yeah. you see that very, very like maybe once a generation. Like, you know, Canelo is, is, is the same level with that with boxing. You know, he's just like years ahead of everybody. Yeah. Um, he, he loves it. He, he, he fights like he would spar in the gym. Do you know what I mean? It's that easy for him. He's he's being up for him. It's so funny. Do you know what I mean? It's it's exciting to him. It's funny. He likes it. He's at that point now. It's crazy how good he is. Uh, is oh, your, yeah. Would you like to fight somebody on that? Do they have guys that that popular light heavyweight for you? No, again, there's a few around. Do you know what I mean, but they're not at my weight and my height and stuff. They're not going to be like Sanchez bouncing around. Do you know what I mean, skillful. It's more we are. It's more meat and potato stuff. You want to be skillful and stuff, but those guys are like say the 150 pounds, 120 pounds. They move around at completely different speeds. Do you know what I mean, they're, they're lightning just, fast. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Well, uh, you 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 should have a fight coming up soon, especially after the kid comes. Um, yeah, I've been matched up. I've been matched up for it's a potential show. So basically, they matched all the fights up. Our prime minister tomorrow has a press conference, so hopefully we get a better idea when the show is going to go ahead. But I have been matched up. Me and my teammate have been matched up for this show in Newcastle. We just not got a date yet, so no date. I'm getting a, no, there's no date. They're looking at a preliminary date of March the 20th, but I can't see it, to be honest. But it's a step in the right direction. Do you know what I mean? It's, we've been matched up. There's, they're definitely saying they're going to put the show on eventually. So that's, that's a good thing. That gives you, not that I lack motivation, but it gives you a bit more motivation to train a little bit harder, I suppose. Who's the opponent? Uh, Ali McPherson, his name is. So he's been, it's kind of like Matthew's last fight against Matt Inman. It's a guy who was on the scene and he's kind of took a couple of years away, but he's still got a bit of a reputation. I think, there's not loads on him on YouTube, but I think you know he he was a WBC British champion, he was a WBC international champion, and he was highly ranked in the in the world ranking. So yeah, I'm well up for that. Yeah, It'll be good to, to get that. your feet back wet after a year off too. Hundred percent, yeah, live for this. I mean, all I want to do is fight basically. So yeah, I love it. I love it. Dan, I appreciate you coming on, man. Uh, where can everybody find you on social media? Where can they find, follow you? Yeah, just on Instagram, Dan Tybox. That's when I on Instagram or just on Facebook. Awesome. Dan, I appreciate you, man. I'm, I'm wishing you luck you. in your next fight, and we're going to have to talk again soon. Excellent. Thank you. Later, brother. Cheers, bud.